Travel Robot Presence Top 10 Things to Do in Vietnam Hey, in this video we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Vietnam. Vietnam is an astonishing mix of natural highlights and cultural diversity. The scenery ranges from jagged peaks seen from winding mountain passes down to verdant paddy fields painted every shade of green in the palette, while Vietnam's long history and multicultural population, with over 50 ethnic minority groups, make a trip here rich in heritage. Outdoor lovers can get their teeth into the countryside within the numerous national parks, where hiking, biking, and kayaking are popular things to do. But Vietnam's most famous natural tourist attraction, the spectacular karst seascape of Halong Bay, is one natural sight that even the more slothful can experience up close on a cruise. While the rural areas brim with lush panoramas, the big cities buzz with contemporary life and provide ample opportunities to get stuck into Vietnam's tasty culinary highlights. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Halong Bay. The karst seascape of Halong Bay is one of the best places to visit in the world for spellbinding sea views and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Thousands of limestone islands sit within this bay in the Gulf of Tonkin, eroded into jagged pinnacles by wind and water action over millennia. With the bay's scenery best seen by boat, this is prime cruising territory. Opt for at least an overnight tour to see Halong Bay's iconic views as a day trip doesn't do it justice. There are plenty of caves in the bay that can be entered including the Hang Sung Sot, with three mammoth caverns, and the Hang Dao Go, with superbly weird stalagmites and stalactites. For most people though, the highlight is simply cruising amid the karsts and soaking up the changing scenery of pinnacles as you pass by. Number 9. Hue. One of Vietnam's most historic towns, Hue is packed to the brim with relics from the reign of the 19th century Nguyen emperors. Sitting along the banks of the gorgeous Perfume River, the imperial enclosure is a huge sight set within walls that sprawl for 2.5 kilometers. While touring the grounds, check out the gorgeous Ngo Mon Gate, the Thai Ho Palace with its finely lacquered interior detailing, the Dain Tho Residence, where the Queen Mothers would live, and the Halls of Mandarins with its preserved ceiling murals. A dazzling number of historic sites lie outside the imperial enclosure walls as well. One of the nicest ways of visiting a collection of outlying sites is by taking a riverboat cruise on the Perfume River. A day cruise can take you to visit several royal tombs along with some pagodas. If you're short on time, the best tomb to visit is the Tomb of Tudok, and the most important pagoda in the area is the Thien New Pagoda, with its tower that soars for 21 meters high. Number 8. Phong Nha Ki Bang National Park one of the best places to visit in Vietnam for caving, World Heritage-listed Phong Nha Ki Bang National Park is a dramatic karst mountain formation honeycomb with huge caverns, which are home to superb stalactite and stalagmite displays. The most popular destination within the park is the Paradise Cave, which extends for a staggering 31 kilometers below ground. The yawning caverns here are truly spectacular. Tulan Cave is a wet cave, and a visit here includes swimming through the Cave Systems River. The other most popular excursion is to the Phong Nha Caves, where the interior is accessed by boat. Number 7. My Son Surrounded by lush jungle-covered mountains, My Son is a ruined Cham-era temple city that dates from the 4th century. This old Hindu religious center was still very much in use during the 7th to 10th centuries and only fell into complete decline and abandonment during the 13th century. There are around 20 temple structures still standing here, all built of brick or sandstone blocks and showing interesting influences from various Asian empires, including Indian and Malay. Note that the temples of Group B are the oldest, while Group A once contained the site's most important monument, but was destroyed deliberately by U.S. forces during the Vietnam War. A good museum on-site houses plenty of information on the Cham. Number 6. Hoi An Beautiful Hoi An is the most atmospheric city in Vietnam, with bags of surviving historic architecture. The Old Town Quarter is a joy to explore, packed to the brim with well-preserved merchant houses that hark back to Hoi An's trading center heyday of the 15th century. 
when the town was a major meeting point for Japanese and Chinese merchants who flocked here for the local silks. Plenty of the old merchant houses have been opened to the public, so you can get a taste of these times. The best is 17th century Tang Kai House, with fascinating architectural and decorative elements. Oyan's major symbol is the delightful Japanese bridge at the western end of Tran Fu Street. While nearby, the Assembly Hall of the Fujian Chinese Congregation is the old town's most highly decorated temple. There are numerous small pagodas and museums dotted about town. But Hoyan's true charm is found in simply rambling the old town streets, admiring the well-preserved fixades. Number 5. Sapa Countryside The verdant rice field countryside surrounding Sapa, bordered by the jagged peaks of the Honglin Mountains, often still known by their French colonial-era name of the Tonkinese Alps, are home to Vietnam's most beautiful rural vistas. The deep valleys here are home to a diverse mix of the country's ethnic minorities, including the Hmong, Jay, and Red Zhao people. While the rippling hills are terraced with rice fields and overlooked by the country's tallest peak, Phantsa Pen Mountain, this is the top trekking destination in Vietnam with oodles of options to trek or day hike between tiny villages and experience the staggering mountain views. Sapa itself is the main base here, an old hill station, and now a bustling and forever growing tourist center that is a stark contrast to the sumptuous tranquil countryside right on its doorstep. Number 4. Hanoi Vietnam's capital is the frenetic heartbeat of the nation and a place that befuddles travelers as much as it charms them. The motorbike frenzy, pollution, and constant clamor of street vendors can get too much for some travelers. But if you want to dive into Vietnamese city life, Hanoi is the place to do it. The old town quarter has plenty of dilapidated charm on offer, while history fans should make a beeline here simply to see the bundle of excellent museums. The Vietnam Museum of Ethnology and Vietnam Fine Art Museum are both brilliant introductions to the diverse artistry of the country while the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum is an important tribute to the founder of modern Vietnam. Number 3. Ba Bi National Park Tranquil Ba Bi National Park is absolutely stunning with the three interlinked Bebi lakes at its heart, rimmed by jagged karst peaks and thickly forested slopes. Most visitors come here to take peaceful boat trips or kayak on the lake and explore the caves full of stalactites and stalagmites in the vicinity, but for the more active, there's also excellent hiking and trekking in the hills here between ethnic minority villages. This is one of the most peaceful spots in Vietnam, and travelers who spend the night here sleep in traditional stilt house homestay accommodation along the lakeshore, allowing an experience of simple rural life. Number 2. Mekong Delta The far south of Vietnam is where the mighty Mekong River finally finds its way to the sea in a maze of waterways that crisscross the floodplain. Incredibly lush, with paddy field vistas and mangroves, and full of local life. With chaotic floating markets to explore by boat, the Delta is one of the most interesting regions for travelers to discover. Kentho is the most popular town to use as a base, as it's close to the floating markets of Phong Dien and Kai Rang, while boat trips from Ka Mau allow you to explore the Yu Min Mangrove Forest and Ka Mau Nature Reserve. Number 1. Cat Ba Island one of Vietnam's major centers for activities and adventure travel attractions, Cat Ba Island sits on the western edge of Halong Bay. This is the best place to visit if you want to organize cruises and kayaking trips in Lan Ha Bay, which lies off Cat Ba's southern coast. Lan Ha Bay is a less visited seascape of karst islets and outcrops that makes for a quieter alternative to Halong Bay. Off the water, much of Cat Ba's dense jungle interior is part of Cat Ba National Park where hikers can spot plentiful bird life, as well as animals such as macaques. For many visitors, though, Cat Ba is all about climbing opportunities. Climbing excursions here utilize both the island's limestone cliffs and Lan Ha Bay's outcrops, providing experiences to suit both complete climbing beginners and experienced climbers. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.